He's got to be careful, though. During an encounter this close, he could easily become lunch himself. He now feeds right under Nephila's nose. But it's when Nephila is distracted by a new catch that our little hijacker takes an even bigger chance. Cutting away the holding strands and then lowering the booty onto tie lines which he spins himself, he absconds with his loot, leaving Nephila none the wiser. There are also other harvesters in these woods, but they don't have eight legs, they have two. This man is a local hunter, and he's collecting his equipment, the Nephila web itself. He leaves some of the web behind, and then replaces the spider unharmed. The web is fashioned into a lure, and then he sets off. And this is what our two-legged hunter is after. Not insects, but fish. He uses no hooks, just the Nephila's strong, sticky web, which he attaches to his line. Dragging this through the water, he hopes that the fluttering lure will attract garfish, which hunt near the surface. Their teeth get entangled in the incredibly sticky lure, and they're then hauled aboard. Despite getting wet, the web can be scraped off and is strong enough and sticky enough to be reused for up to three days. And there you have it. A web serving two Sulawesi forest hunters, both man and arachnid. One of the most commonly asked questions about spiders is why don't they get stuck in their own webs? Find out after the break. <laughs>